we're going to talk about markups and discounts. And really markups and discounts, taxes, increases, decreases, percents off are all really treated the same way. The critical thing you have to remember is that when you start, you always start at 100% because that's what 100% represents is the entire item. So if you start at 100% and then you get let's say a 20% discount, then that means that we take 20% away and you are left to pay 80%. If we have 5% tax, we always start at 100%, remember? And tax is an add-on, so we're adding 5%, and that means that you are paying 105%. And if you have, let's say, a reduction of 30%, then you start with your 100%, take away 30%, and that means that you are now paying 70% of the original price. Similarly, if there's an item that always starts at 100%, that has a 12% markup, then we add 12%. And that means that now you will be paying 112% of the original price. So remember, taxes, markups, increase, all those add to it, and discounts and markdowns subtract to it, but we always start with 100%. And then after that, you just use the percent equation. So let's take a look using the percent equation to solve markup and discount problems. So if I have something that normally sells for $12 and there is a 30% discount, that means that you are paying 100% minus 30%. You are paying 70% because we had a 30% discount, you are paying 70%. So we use the percent equation, A equals 70% of $12. And so we use our calculator, 70% of $12 is equal to 8.4. Well, it's money, so we use dollar sign and we round to the nearest penny. So we have $8.40. So a $12 item, 30% discount, you are paying 70%. So we found 70% of $12, which gives us $8.40. Let's look at another example. Let's say you buy something at $49.95 and there is a 5% tax, that means you are paying, there's 5% tax, you pay 105%. So we do A equals 1.05, which is 105% of 49.95, Pick up your calculator and you do 1.05 times $49.95 and you get $52.4475, so it's going to round to $0.45. Cents. So that $49.95 item with 5% tax, you're actually paying $52.45 because you're not paying 100%, you're paying 105%. So let's look at another example. Let's say you have a, um, a, an item that is, let's say, $3,247, and you got a great bargain. You got it on Black Friday for 
for 65% off. I don't know what item you're buying that costs $3,247. Doesn't matter. 65% off means 100% minus 65% means you are paying 35%, which is an incredible deal if it's something that you need. So we know that A equals 0.35, because the part you're paying is 35%, times 3247 and so on our calculators we do 35 percent times 3247 and that's equal to one thousand one hundred thirty six dollars and forty five cents this case it came out exactly to the penny so we didn't have any rounding to do Please make sure you do show this line because we have to show what we're entering into the calculator. And I would love to see this line where you're calculating the actual percent. And I do want to see that percentage. But the amount we end up paying is this right here because we found the discount mark up, mark down. And that's all there is to it. Now, the next step is what if we have combined things? So let's say we have a discount and then we have tax. Now be careful. If I start at 100% and I say I get a 20% discount, I then pay 5% tax, I cannot do it this way. I cannot do it this way. That's not the way discounts and markup work. What I need to do is figure out that 100% minus 20% is equal to 80%. And I need to figure out that 100% plus 5% is 105%. And I can use both of those together. So let's say I had an item that was normally, let's say, $73. And I am getting a 20% discount, but I also have to pay 5% tax. So what I can do is I can say A is equal to 0 0.80, which is my 20% discount, times my tax 1.05 times the original amount. So what I did was I took my discount, my tax, and then the original amount, and I'm gonna find out how much the $73 item costs after a 20% discount and 5% tax. And so I find that I get $61.32 is how much. And by the way, if you had done it the other way, where you did minus 20% plus 5%, you would have had $62.05, which is not the right answer. So $61.32 is the correct answer. And let me show you why that works. Because let's say you go to the Super Bargain Warehouse, and the Super Bargain Warehouse has a $200 item. And they say you're going to get 50% off. And then today, special, you get another 50% off the sale price. Now some people would say, well 50% plus 50% means that I get 100% off. But that's not the way it works. If that worked that way, they'd be out of business really quickly. What it is, is $200 take away 50%. That means you're paying 50%. So we multiply that by 0.5 and so then 
we have this is now the new sale price. We're going to multiply that times 0.5. And so that means that you are only paying $50, but you don't get it for free. You don't get it for free because otherwise, if you just were able to add these together, that'd be 100% off. And that wouldn't really work out that way. No store is going to give it to you for 100% off. So let's do a practice problem. See if you can do this um, with the compound. So let's say I buy something for $150. And I get 20% off. And there's 8% tax. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out how to do this compound problem with markups and discount. Okay, hopefully you've paused the video and you realize that 20% off means you are paying 80%, which as a decimal would be 0 0.80, and 8% tax would be one point. 0, 08. We can multiply those together and we can take our $150 and multiply that. And if we take all that together, $150 times 0.8 times 1.08, we get $129.60. Hopefully you got that answer. So again, what we did was we took 150, 20% off is 0.8 because that's 80% left for us to pay. 8% tax is 1.08 because that's 8% above 100. And then we multiply those together and we get $129.60. Let's do one more for you to do. So let's say we have a... Uh, $352 item and there is a 17% discount and there is a 9% tax. Go ahead and pause it and see if you can figure out how to do this. Okay, hopefully you've paused it and you figured out you're going to take 352 times 0 0.83 because we're left with paying 83% after the 17% discount times 1.09 because we're left paying 109% after the 9% tax. And when we take those and multiply them together, we get... $318.45. And we did that all in one shot so we didn't have to worry about rounding or anything. Hopefully this video makes sense. If not, go ahead and watch it again. Thank you.